Alright, we should search the convoy just a little bit. I don't think there's anything else we have to find. I, I can guarantee there's nothing else we have to find. But still. I am interested in the Thalmor side of this, because it almost seemed like it would be, um... A double cross sort of thing where I say hey I can be of help to you are we going to say that to the Thalmor and then sort of undermine the Legion or the Stormcloaks from within because that would definitely lead into how it would make sense that you can join the Thalmor side without being a high elf because that's always just one of the things where people say, oh, you can join the Stormcloaks without Divine's being a Nord. But I still think... I still think that makes sense. Personally, Ulfric isn't opposed to the other races at all. Ulfric himself has never really shown himself to be... racist, necessarily, or hate other races. He just believes that I'd be a lot warmer Skyrim belongs to the Nords versus the Empire. It's just his followers are like, oh, by that he means Skyrim belongs to the Nords and not the other races at all. Good, you're back. What happened? Did you find the convoy? Apparently I'm just an Ulfric apologist, so I'm sorry. I found it, but the Thalmor got there first. Damn it. Were there any survivors? Me. No. I couldn't save anyone. Damn it. You shouldn't blame yourself, though. There was nothing you could have done. So what now? Well, we're gonna need to change up the convoy routes, make them less predictable. Probably start sending more guards as well. As for what's next for you, we need you to deliver some messages. I know, I know. Courier work. But we know that the Thalmor are onto us, and that they are trying to sabotage our efforts. <laughs> we all know you can look after yourself. It's true. Where am I taking them? There are two locations. Fort Newgrad in Falkreath Hold, and Fort Greenwall in the Rift. There are orders for the commanders stationed there. I'll head out straight away. Good. And remember, these orders are absolutely crucial. They cannot fall into the Thalmor's hands under any circumstance. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be the thing of if you join the Thalmor, he's gonna say that, and you say, I understand, and then you immediately turn around and go, Here, Thalmor! Here, take this note! Good. Off you go, then. Long live the Empire. It's a very minor thing. I like his voice acting, but I can hear the slightest sort of, uh, buzzing in the background. It's very, very... Very unnoticeable. After a while, you just pick up on those things. Not really a big deal sneaky. at all. I just noticed it and, you know, doing a review in progress, so to speak, of sorts. So I thought I would just say that I heard it. Alright, Fort Newgard, Fort Newgrad, and Fort Greenwall. We're going to get here, and there's going to be a Thalmor takeover or something. No? Okay, I see Imperials. Yes? I was worried that... I was worried that we were going to come here and everyone was going to be dead already. Which, it wouldn't even surprise me necessarily. <laughs> What are you doing here? Okay. Hmm. Voice acting's a little rough here. I have orders from Malpin Velvis. Ah, good. It's a bad time. But I must say, you don't look much like a courier. And you don't sound much like a Nord. I'm just doing my job. You can't be too careful with the Thalmor skulking around. You've got that right. Bloody elves are everywhere. Mm-hmm. Well... Thank you for delivering them. I suppose I'll take it from here. Alright. I also realized that I didn't read the Imperial documents. Um. 
Okay, I was gonna see if there was a second one in my inventory. There is not. Okay, they're under miscellaneous, so I can't read them anyway. Just curious. Uh-oh. Okay, never mind. I saw the, the broken barriers, and I thought maybe there was an attack here. But no, I see. I see an Imperial soldier up there. Still flying Imperial colors as well. Everything's fine here. For... <laughs> for now. Where do I have to go for this? Okay, it just looks like it's on the other side of the fort. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Through a trap door and locked. Am I gonna get am I gonna get in trouble for this? It's like, hey, yeah, you just broke into my secure area. I'm like, sorry. Don't mind me. Can I help you? I have orders from Malpin Velvis. Oh uh, good. Though I must say, you don't really look the courier type. I get that a lot. Oh, I get that a lot. I bet you do. Well, I can take it from here. Valvis has nothing to fear. But fear itself. Alright. Is there another way into his quarters, or... I'm just curious. Because I just followed the, uh... Oh yeah, there's another way in. I was just following the map marker. And the map marker just gave me the most obscure way to get to him. Alright. Let's head on back. Ah, good, you're back. I trust the mission is completed. Yes, sir. Excellent. I trust you didn't run into any trouble? Uh, no, none at all. Just a dragon that didn't want to attack. Good. Now, we have another task for you. I know you just got back, but this is just as urgent as the others. If it's as urgent, why didn't you hire someone in addition to me? Uh, of course. What is it? Actually, I had some questions. I'm sure you do, but this is important. When you return, I will answer any questions you have. It isn't ready just yet. I'm making some final preparations. Take some time off to rest. I'll send a courier to find you when we're ready. But... But I thought it was urgent. Sir. Like it, you just said it was urgent. And now you're saying go rest? I... I'm... Well, I know he said that. It's not ready yet, but... He just... Good he had me ready the there. Point. He was like, oh, it's urgent. We have to move right have now. Respect for the restoration. After you rest. I was like, oh, alright. Okay, yeah. Let me go take a nap. I'm gonna go rent myself a room at, uh, the Winking Skeever. And we'll just wait a couple days until we have a courier show up. What's this hawk doing here? You get out of here. The Divine saved me from the streets. Damn it. It doesn't fit. As well. Doesn't fit in the cauldron. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right. What do we have? Letter from Malpin. George, the preparations have been made. Come quickly. I really hope you stayed in town and that you didn't go halfway across Skyrim. Because then, the urgent nature of this matter just would not be addressed in a timely manner. I'm telling you, I heard it. The cards feel very talkative today. Like, I more so than usual. fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear Radiant Raiments has a large selection. How you doing? Ah, good. You're here. Let's get straight to business. Is it battle time? How can I help? Listen, I can trust you, can't I? Oh. Oh, this would be the thing of if you were helping the Aldmeri Dominion. He'd be like, I think there's a rat. Are, are you sure it's not you? Of course. Good. I have reason to believe we have a spy within our ranks. Placed by the Thalmor. What? How can you be sure? There is no other explanation. The Thalmor always seem to be one step ahead of us. 
It explains the attacks on the convoys. And just three days ago, one of our highest ranking officers was assassinated at an Imperial camp in the Reach. He was there on top secret business. No one should have known he was there. Well, I can tell you the Dark Brotherhood wasn't behind it because I'm the listener. Well, who is it? That's the problem. I don't know. But given how much they know about our plans, it must be one of our officers. Oh, do I need to interrogate them? Uh, we just need to figure out which one. Exactly. Any ideas? As a matter of fact, I do have one plan. If you're willing to help me, that is. Absolutely. What's the plan? I need you to meet with three senior officers and give them some information. I get where you're we're going. You're going to tell them that I will be traveling to a small camp away from the major cities. And you're going to tell them that I will only have a few guards. The twist is, you're going to tell each of the officers a different location. Yep, that's what I figured. There is no way the Thalmor can resist taking me out. So you can bet that they will have their men waiting at whatever location the spy tells them. We'll send men to each of the locations and see if any Thalmor show up. Whichever location they do show up to tells us who the spy is. Just watch. The Thalmor show up at all three spots, and Malpin's just sitting here going, Really, guys? Everyone's a traitor? Come on. Uh, sounds easy enough. Clever. I like it. And are you sure it will work? Uh, no, I, I think it's clever because I was thinking the same thing when he said that we're going to give the three officers information. As do I. Rather cunning if I do say so myself. I'll begin immediately. Excellent. Gods be with you, soldier. Alright, talk to the officers. So we have one in here and the others are elsewhere. Well, you look upset, and there's something untrustworthy. Yes, can I help you? There's something untrustworthy about your eyes. I have a letter from Malpin. Got you on courier duty again, has he? Very well. What is it? He is leaving the city for a while. Leaving solitude? Where is he going? I think he's going on vacation. Uh, our camp in the Pale. Ah, uh, yes. I know it. I suppose we'll be coming along as well. Along with God's knows how many guards. Actually, he is only bringing a handful of guards. Really? Why is that? You know, to make him more susceptible to being assassinated so that you really, really can't resist telling your Thalmor overlords, Mr. Shifty Eyes, more subtle that way. I see. Fair enough. Thank you for telling me. You stood up very quickly. Where do you think you're yes, going? what is it? Where do you think you're going, God damn it! Oh, damn. I was gonna lock him in. I was gonna use the door to lock him in. There's no door here. That'll show me. God luck, like white man is in a better place now. Okay, then we have so this guy over here, and then the other... Board? Officer we have to tell is just... Well, they're over that way, so let's... Start with you, Holden. Ah, greetings, my friend. How are you doing? What can I do for you? I have a message from Malpin. You personally stormed Windhelm alongside oh, no. General Tullius, and you're here to deliver a message for Malpin Velvis? Don't get me wrong. I respect the man, but I don't think he quite understands who you are. Anyway, what is the message? He's leaving the city for a while. Leaving? No further than Dragonbridge, I expect. He was never the traveling type. Actually, he's going to our camp in Winterhold. Winterhold? That's a bit further than I expected. I suppose I should get my cloak. It's a bit chilly up there. We're not going with him. We're not? Then who is? Just a handful of guards. I see. Very well, then. He has clearly grown tired of us and is retreating to the frozen plains of Winterhold to escape us. 
But seriously, thanks for telling. Here's the problem. I like, I like, I like Hodlin. So now I'm scared that it's gonna be him. I know I've only talked to him for a minute, but I like him, and I really hope that it's not staying him. safe. I hope. It's always the thing now of, I'll just sit and think it's like, oh, who's the most likely to be the traitor? It's like, oh, and then because of that, it's probably gonna be the opposite. Just watch the third. <laughs> the third officer is just a uh, a high elf in Imperial armor. He's like, oh, yep, no, I'm. Uh, How are your students? I'm, I'm definitely not the spy. I don't know what you're talking about. Is my star pupil. What can I do for you? None of the others can hold a candle. I have a message from Malpin. Especially not that do you? What could he possibly want Try this not time? To play favorites, lady he wants you to leave the he goddamn inn and get back to work. He wants me to tell you that he is leaving the yes, city for a while. Master. Is he now? And where exactly is he going? Uh, some of the voice acting in the mod is a little quiet. I boost it when and where I can, but just something I noticed. Not bad, but a little on the quiet end sometimes. Our camp in Hjalmark. Ugh, what a dreary place. I assume we are being dragged along as well. How he decided to only bring a few guards. Bunch of distractions, yes? if you ask me. That they doesn't sound very wise, but I'm hardly going to argue. I'm sorry to break it means I don't have to set foot in that swampy wasteland, an and so be it. Necessity of a college. Well, thank you for informing Do me. Try to persevere. Yes, Headmaster. All right. Head back Seems to Melbourne. There's always more to be. You know, the winking oh, no. not I just the best inn in solitude. Oh uh, yeah. It's also the only inn in solitude. <laughs> he just cuts himself off. It's like it's the only inn in boop. I do like the um, the fact that there is a little bit more cloak and dagger the winking to the mod that it's not just you look like straight up. Oh, balls. you got to fight over and over and over again. Watch the skies, traveler. Releasing a captured. I'm excited dragon. to see when we get to that one. the sieges and the battles, and I'm hoping that it is similar to uh, Civil War Overhaul ah, in some ways. Back. It's done then. You've told them all? I have. I did it just as you said. Good. What locations did you give them? Our camps in the Pale, Hjalmark, and Winterhold. Excellent. I'll send men right away. Listen, I want to make this as subtle as possible and use as few men as possible. I don't suppose you could accompany the men I send to the camp in the Pale. It's not going to be the camp in the Pale. He's sending me there, and it's not going to be that camp. Of course, sir. Good, thank you. I'll let the men in each hold know. Hopefully it isn't you who runs into the Thalmor, but if it is... Well, good luck. Thank you, sir. I'll head out immediately. Should I kill the Thalmor agents if they arrive? We need to send a strong message to the Thalmor. If they show up, do not hesitate to kill every single one. Now. Off you go. Seeing the uh, the subtitle now off you go, I was really hoping that he was gonna say very seriously, kill all of them. Now off you go. Like have fun. What is it? Kill the Dragons. Thalmor. Win the war. All right. So, camp in the pale. I was half expecting to get here and everyone is just dead. What the rebels like, like to forget oh. is that the Empire well, is what's keeping the Dominion out of Skyrim. Ah, good, you're here. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a you haven't time. missed much. A farmer walked by about an hour ago. Prongvi here? here almost put an arrow through his heart. But I stopped him. So, you ready to take out any Talmor if they show up? Are your arms cold, sir? I'm always ready. That's good to hear. Hopefully, it will be unnecessary. So anyway, I thought... Wait, is that... What? That's them. What? On your go. We'll be right behind you. Off you go. Kill the Thalmor. Oh, so it was the first guy. It was the guy that I suspected. It was Mr. Shifty Eyes. I knew it. Is the only truth. 
How's that supremacy working out for you? Huh? Well, How's that working out? You should head back to Solitude immediately. Malpin will want to know what happened. Oh, do you think we're going to be able to lock up that officer in time? Or do you think he's going to escape and he's going to realize that Malpin's still alive? Oh, that would be bad. That would be bad if we don't get to catch him. But at the same time, the he's only worth something to the Thalmor as long as he stays undercover. But Citizen. right now, now that we know it was him, True. I may it's going to uh, just not matter anyway. That or all the camps got attacked, like I said, and we just have three traitors. Conjure me up a warm. Turns out everyone in the Imperial Legion is actually just working for the Thalmor. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, all right. Thanks, you play. I uh, I turned notifications off, but uh, yeah, you do you. Captain Debent is the spy. Damn it. Very well. Thank you for helping me. I trust you took care of the agents who showed up. Yes, sir. All right, good. Well, now we have to deal with Debent. Listen, I don't suppose you could deal with him, could you? What do you want me to do? Of course, sir. Thank you. Now listen, I want you to try and take him peacefully. Try not to kill him. That would look bad for all of us. I will do my best, sir. Good. But I agree, yeah. Knowing the nature of the Thalmor, it's very unlikely he will go without a fight. Try and keep your blade clean if you can. But if you really must kill him, then I suppose there's nothing I could do. You should go. Immediately. When word reaches him that his plan was foiled, he may flee. Yeah, I feel like if we wanted this plan to really work, you shouldn't have been here. You're just sitting around eating bread. All it takes is for Captain DeBent to come up here and be like, Hey, what are you doing eating that bread? Ah, uh, hello again. What can I do for you this time? You can tell me why you're a goddamn traitor. You're under arrest, DeBent. Under arrest? By whose authority? Malpin Velvis. What? And why would he issue an arrest for me? We know you work for the Thalmor. The Thalmor? How preposterous. How could you possibly come to that conclusion? It's called Spycraft. Malpin's party in the Pale was attacked. What? By who, the Thalmor? Is he okay? He never left. He was upstairs the whole time eating bread. He wasn't there. I lied. What? Why would you do that? I like how right now he's like, why would you lie to me when he's the traitor? Only the other two commanders knew where he was going. Oh. Ah, then it must have been Catania's. That slimy bastard. No. I told Catania's he was going to Hjalmark. Uh, I, uh... Just go peacefully. And I told Hodland he was going to Winterhold. Well, that, um, that... I only told you he was going to the Pale. Fine. It's me. I'm the spy. What are you gonna do about it? I could crush you like an insect. Really? Is that so? I would love to take you up on that offer, but this doesn't need to be violent. Oh, doesn't it? You suppose I'm just gonna go quietly, do you? Did you hear, like, a ringing? When he was talking? If you want to keep your head, you will. <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah, it sounds like a microwave going off. Oh, and... Alright, Captain... Captain Aldous. Captain Aldous is not taking his shit. No one is taking his shit. No one at all. Man. You guys do not mess around. I appreciate it. Oh! Sir! There's an arrow through your head. Alright, you guys gotta you guys gotta be quiet. A letter. 
Taranin. I am currently working on finding the updated route for the supply carriages. Normally, it would take a while, but if your agents are successful in taking out Malpin in the Pale, then the resulting chaos should make it much easier. By the time this letter reaches you, the plan will have been put to work, and I am writing this under the assumption that it went off without a hitch. I was practically gifted the information by that half-wit Nord, George, if only he knew what he were doing. Of course, I have total faith in you and your agents. As for your request to get the dossiers containing the names of every man in the border forts, that request will take a bit longer than you have given me time for. You must understand that such information is difficult to attain, even at such a high level as myself. I can discuss this more next time we meet. I assume Nightgate Inn is still the meeting location. I cannot say when my next visit will be, but I imagine that I will be able to slip away unnoticed sometime soon. I look forward to your reply, as always. Hearts! Debent. An arrow in the knee. Oh, this guy. This guy. Well, how convenient for us that he's like, hey! You're back. I I, I don't see Debent with you. I suppose that means you had to kill him. It's just like, hey, usual meeting spot at this place? I'm like, yeah, thanks for telling me where the usual meeting spot is. I had no choice. It's okay. I knew you'd probably have to. Did you manage to get anything out of him before he died? I did indeed. I found this letter on his body. Hmm? Let me see. So it seems he had a contact whom he met with, and the contact is staying in the Nightgate Inn. Well, it seems this is the final piece to this particular puzzle. Listen, I know I've asked a lot from you these past few days. Don't worry, sir. I'll deal with it. Thank you. I mean, what am I gonna do? I have no quails Not about go? you killing this one, however. Do with him what you wish. Let's finally put this behind us. I'll leave immediately, sir. Very good. And thank you again. See, now I really want to see the Thalmor side of it. You're that one from the college. Heard about you. <sighs> that... If it isn't the Slayer... That can be can really be interesting. Because what I'm imagining, and I could very well be wrong, is I'm imagining when he does the quest where he's like, I think there's a spy, you have to choose who you want to frame. That or there's a second spy, and it's still debent and you just have to cover for him it's hard to say but i'm just seeing a lot of different possibilities with this which is what i'm really excited about right now mm -hmm. speak quickly oh you don't need something oh he doesn't say anything i wanted to talk to him oh well oh he's stronger than i thought he was well, okay, no. It's not even that he's stronger, it's just that I always forget that Fire Shout doesn't do anything. Does he have... Oh, he doesn't have a note or anything. I was hoping he might... I was hoping he might have some sort of note saying, Oh, these are our next plans, or oh, we have other spies. But it seems like it was just as simple as, Okay, that was the last part of this puzzle. 